Good morning, Floss Tube. Today is Wednesday, December 9th. My name is Don Marie, and this is DM's Crafty Vortex. This is my channel mostly about cross stitch, and then what other crafts I happen to be working on. A lot of the times I am either knitting or I've fallen down the diamond painting rabbit hole. Sometimes there's a little bit of sewing or whatever else I decide I'm gonna try that week. Today's episode is a Vlogmas episode. It is a day in the life, so a little bit more about what I'm doing, uh, seeing me do my crafts before I head off to work, and things like that. I think you can get my dog's tail on the video right now. Sorry, yep, there it goes. Um, and usually at the beginning of every video, I start with some advents that I'm unboxing. Right now, it is just um, yarn advents. Actually, I lie, I do have some cross-stitched open. I opened it yesterday, but I'm opening it again today to show you because on my typical Thursday floss tube, I'm gonna use this as a giveaway. So let's get started on the advents. Today's is day nine, as I said, and this is Ginger Snap Pack. So, so, so pretty. It is a little gift with today. And what are they? They look like little, uh, little stickers or markers of some type. Hold on, let me see if I can open this. Oops. Look, little llamas, it's really cute. See if we can get into it. There's no just getting around the crinkling of a floss too. Oh, okay. So it's all kinds of little paper to not mark your places and things. Look how cute that is. Look at how pretty this yarn is. So pretty. So day nine, ginger snap that. And then here we go. Day nine, uh, year four Harry Potter with Dragon Horde Yarns and Yarn Cafe Creations. And this one is a Dragon Horde Yarn set. And another gorgeous one. They have all been just so pretty. And this is Winky the House Elf. Ah, oh, poor Winky. Look at that one. Absolutely gorgeous. Then I have my The Cozy Knitter. And this one, Len, is a skein of yarn with 24 stripes in it. Each stripe is a different color, so every day if you make a pair of socks, you knit just one stripe, and that's how you get your advent. And I love the fact that when Christmas comes, not only will I have a pair of Christmas socks, but I'll have used the yarn instead of just having a advent box sitting in with all my stuff. So we have, now the cuff is not from the Cozy Knitter, it's from Sweet Georgia Yarns. And this was done in a twisted rib. So you have day one, day two, day three, day four, day five, day six, day seven. Day eight is now all knitted up. And today I will knit up day nine. I had somebody on the channel yesterday ask me about what advents are and how you get them. And basically you just, you learn which dyers do advent calendars and then you start just stalking them. I'm um, usually on Instagram. If you're on the Instagram feed, they'll post when their advents are getting ready to go up for order. And it's usually really early in the year, which is why 
I forgot and I got my Halloween advent and forgot it was a Halloween advent and thought it was a Christmas advent and put it away for a few months because you do get it, you order it in like February, March, depending on the dyer. And then it will come in a couple of months before you're ready to open it. And then you just gotta put it away and you have to forget it exists for a couple of months. They're not always easy to get depending if it's a really popular one, uh, you've got to almost buy it the minute it becomes available. Um, with the cross-stitch ones, I didn't get any cross-stitch ones because they sold out within about five minutes of them becoming available and my phone glitched as I was trying to order. So that glitch was just long enough for them to sell out before I could get it. Uh, there's, there's plenty out there. You should be able to get your hands on one. It's just a matter of whether or not you can get your hands on the one you want. Um, because it is, it is an expense to order an advent. So if you're gonna put out that kind of money, you wanna make sure you get the quality that you personally like. So it may not be that it's bad quality, it just might not be your taste in the yarn or um, what you get to open for presents. So next up for some cross stitch, I got the Fat Quarter um, Santa's Baby Stitch Quarter that came in the mail. It comes with this exclusive bag. Inside you have all the floss. You have the cross stitch pattern. I'm not pulling it out. It's just pretty much this. You've got some sparkly pretty Ada fabric that goes with it. It came with the floss biddies. There's four different designs in here. Santa Claus, Mrs. Claus, a reindeer, and a snowman. And then it has a cute little needle tin. So I have decided I am not going to stitch this up and I don't like having a lot of stuff in my house that I'm not going to use someday. So tomorrow, this is going to be a giveaway on my floss tube tomorrow. So if you want a chance at winning this, stay tuned. It is only for people in the continental United States. Um, my channel is not monetized. So I pay for everything out of pocket. So I bought this kit. This wasn't given to me for free. It's not a, um, a paid advertisement. I bought this and then I do have to turn around and also pay the shipment and I just really can't afford right now to pay for overseas shipments with the way things are going. Plus, not quite sure I trust it actually getting there. So I went to my aunt's house yesterday. She wanted to learn how to diamond paint and I'll have showed you us diamond painting together. I just worked on something really little, something that was easy to travel with and she had a lot of fun, something I think she's gonna stick with. And this is what I made. Just this cute little quick card. I bought it at Joanne Fabrics. It's a diamond dot kit, but just something a little special. If you want, you just have that one or two people on your list that you want um, something a little bit extra for. I did have a question about diamond art kits. So here's another one I'm gonna open just to show you. Now, typically, all your diamond art kits come with everything you need, your pen, your wax, your tray. So don't usually invest in that when you go to do something, but these ones did not. Um, but it said on the package it didn't come with that. So when you get a diamond art kit, it comes with all your little drill beads, uh, and just your little schematic. I mean, if you're a cross stitcher, you're, you're used to this. This is the symbol. This is the color you use, which coincides with this. And then here is the drill field, which also has all the symbols. And then what you do is you have your drills in a little tray. If you watch one of my previous floss tubes, you do see me diamond painting, so you can see that happen. But there's this little clear film, and if you lift it up, you can see this is very sticky. So once you put the drill on this, it sticks to that. 
So you don't have to use glue or anything like that. It's all just right sticky on the canvas for you. I think that's everything I had to open for today. I'm going to knit my one stripe on my socks, then I'm gonna take a quick shower and get my day started. quite have my commute down yet for the place I'm going to be at for the next couple of weeks. I ended up getting here a little early, but I brought a Christmas Carol, the book I'm reading for A Stitch in Book Club. I've never read it before. I'm a couple of chapters in, so I'm going to sit here and read for a few minutes before I head into work. a little after 11 p.m. It was a busy yet uneventful day. Just got home from work a little bit ago. I am going to relax, get this video uploaded, and then I'm going to go to bed. I have tomorrow off, so it will be a Flossmas day, but Flossmas is probably going to be a little late tomorrow. I have some errands I have to run in the morning, but hopefully I'll be able to get it out and stay tuned for it. As I stated earlier, there will be a giveaway. See you all tomorrow.